Curious to know which decorating trends are headed for extinction in the new decade? Today we're going to take a look at the top four decor trends to try to avoid in 2020. And especially if you're a seller thinking about putting your house on the market this year, you're going to want to hang around. So let's get started. I'm not a licensed interior designer. However, as a Realtor, I see a lot of trends come and go. And as we're entering into this new decade, I'm seeing some once very popular trends starting to head out. With nearly 40% of all of our buyers being millennials, the demand for a more simple and minimalist look is more apparent than ever. Can some of you remember when shag carpeting was all the rage in the 1970s? and the glass block that everybody loved in the 1980s. And we can't forget that everybody had to have blonde wood in the 1990s and those brass bathroom fixtures. So let's take a look at the top four decor trends. They're on their way out in 2020. Some of them might surprise you. Number one, barn doors. Barn doors used as a decor element started out as a very practical solution to create a privacy barrier with an interesting twist. But it seems like you see barn doors everywhere now. And most of the do-it-yourselfers that I've seen that have jumped on this bandwagon didn't take into consideration the overall style of the home. And these look very mismatched in contemporary homes. Now, I will say that I have seen some updated versions of the barn door concept that I do think will survive the skeptics. However, those who installed these in the past couple of years fell under that gotta have the latest and greatest home decor syndrome. And you have to agree, we've all done that at one time or another. Number two, all gray everything. Gray walls, gray flooring, gray kitchen cabinets. Treating gray as a neutral color is starting to feel so predictable, but a lot of people are still doing it, even some of the builders. I even did a video earlier last year advocating gray, but gray kitchen countertops, kitchen cabinets, flooring, walls, all in the same place is on its way out. But the good news is at least it's not those tan colors anymore. Number three, media rooms and high-end in-home theaters. Through the 2000s, practically every home in the $400,000 plus range had some sort of private media room. Having a private media room in your home once was considered an ultimate luxury. But times are changing, and with streaming platforms like HBO, Hulu, and Netflix becoming the norm, it's looking doubtful that buyers are going to be wowed by these media rooms anymore. When I visit a seller who has a media room, especially those ones that are designed for large groups, I always ask them how often they've used it. I often hear that they used the media room quite a few times when they first purchased the home, but honestly can't remember the last time they used it. Essentially, these elaborate theater rooms are becoming a wasted space. Number four, all white kitchens. This is the one that kind of surprised me the most, maybe because I'm still partial to them. Starting around 2005-ish, it seems like every new home that you went into had the white kitchen cabinets and the black granite countertops. If I'm not mistaken, I think they called that black countertop color a rubatuba. And during that time, the stark contrast gave new homes a modern, sleek, clean feel. Honestly, I don't think that white cabinetries are going to go out of style anytime soon. However, the dark countertops are on their way out. But don't worry, all white kitchens are not going to pull down home sales. In fact, next week we're going to talk about some really awesome alternatives for those white cabinets. So stay tuned for next week. As you probably already know, with any big decor trends that have a wide following, they eventually become dated. So if you're considering any type of kitchen update for resale purposes, and you don't want to change out the cabinets, that's way too expensive to do. Consider changing your countertops and your backsplash to more earthy colors. Well, there you have it, the top four decor trends that are on their way out in 2020. So you might be thinking, ah, I don't really agree with all of that. After all, I'm still in love with the stuff that I spent a lot of money 15 years ago updating. So does this mean if I'm going to put my house on the market this year, I have to go through and renovate my entire home? Well, the answer is no. 
There's updates you can do that will give a big impact without breaking the bank and still give those discerning buyers exactly what they want. If you're curious about what some of those updates are, you're not going to want to miss next week's video. I'm going to talk a little bit about what's trending now in interior design through Realtor's eyes and also what's actually selling in the Greater Lakeland area and why. So if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the little bell. I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. I'm here every single Monday and until then, I'll see you on the next one.